All right, now that we set the calibration, the amount of pressure on the, the pins of the clamping mechanism, and we calibrated our chromatic tuner, we're ready to go. Now, in the interest of time, I already removed the reed plate screws. I, I removed the cover plate bolts. Uh, you know, just like your favorite cooking show, all the hard work happens way before the show starts. <laughs> so we removed the cover plates. Don't need the comb. I'm going to work on the blow first, so I'll put everything aside here that I don't need. All right. Reads face up, not into the slot, but it faces up towards you. Now, in the case of the blow reads, and this is absolutely perfect, the free end of the reed, it's facing me where I need to wear it. So this is, this is a good thing. Now the longer reeds are going to be on the left side, right above the one. So here's the movement. Index finger, middle finger on the back side to support it. And that's applying pressure downward on the tool. And the thumb is going to flip up and that's going to lift up these pins. Here we go. Okay, and I'm pushing that all the way back until it stops. And if you look carefully, the two index pins here are lined up to the back part of the reed plate. And on the far left is where I have the plate. Now you can put it on the right, it, 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 whatever works best for you, whatever you're most comfortable. But the point is you only need three of the index pins to line everything up precisely over the slots. All right, the next step is to... Now, I've been experimenting with the placement, believe it or not, the placement and how I breathe with the tube actually makes a difference. I find that when people first use this, they overdo it. And remember, when I spoke about vacuum, vacuum is draw. So we're sucking, not blowing. Although I will show you some tips on where blowing comes in handy. 99.99% .99 of the time, you're going to be drawing. Now, I went to the factory at Honer in Trossingen, Germany, and uh, their tuning tables are, 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 oh, who knows how old they are, but uh, they're quite heavy, they're machined, and they're weighted, but underneath it are the bellows of an old accordion. And so the operator is actually pumping to get the right amount of pressure, okay? I find this to be very useful because it's more organic because now I connect it to me, the player, in the amount of pressure that I will use when I'm playing. So it, it's a wonderful thing. Nothing against bellows, but I think you'll be quite surprised with how well the mouthpiece hose technique works. I also found that it works good to position on either side of the mouth for me. I'm going to put it on the left side, and I can feel this part of the mouthpiece touching my molars. So I'm clamping down just a little bit, not too hard, it's just plastic, like that. And, and if it wasn't for me talking to you through this process, when I'm on the bench, it just stays in my mouth, you know, because again, it's uh, fast and furious and very, very accurate. But for today, I'll be pulling it out, putting it back in, pulling it out. Now, when I first got the tuner, I was doing this. And that might be more akin to our harmonica embouchure. Are you a pucker player? Okay, and then what you're going to find there is you are going to be tight. It has a tendency to tighten up over here. Whereas if you go on to the side, it's more the embouchure of a tongue blocker, okay? Where you're getting full volume, full air volume passages through the vacuum chamber 
hose mouth. Also, one other thing that I found that works really good is to emulate. So here's my vision is I'm emulating diaphragmic breathing as the bellow. So it's like, watch. And for you harmonica players struggling with your thin tones, practice that. <laughs> After you get the the, the harp tuner, you're going to be a, a better harmonica player after this. So the thinking is I am drawing deep. So it isn't just an upper chest or a mouth type of breath. It is. Let me demonstrate that starting with the one. And then I'll just kind of work my way up to the ten so you can hear and see what this is all about. And there's the chord. I was just about to pass out. <laughs> I don't mind telling you. So it does take some practice, some breath management, so you don't pass out. What's interesting is almost everybody who tries this, um, maybe because they're all hyped up and excited, uh, they they draw too hard. Definitely, they use use up much too much air, uh, much like some of the beginner harmonica players that I have taught. All right. So again, breath management here. You'll, you'll learn very quickly. It doesn't take much of a draw. And again, deep bellow draw through the diaphragmic breathing to get just the right amount of air passing through the slot and drawing the reed and having it vibrate.